to the booth in Hall 3 of the very last day of Mobile World Congress 2015. It's been a long week, and I'm glad that we still have some amazing guests in here. And uh, right now, for the next uh, roughly 20, 25 minutes... 25 minutes? You're not getting out of this early. Okay. <laughs> then my flight leaves. <laughs> Under pressure. <laughs> um, we have uh, Marcus Frost over here. He's a senior marketing director for Motorola. Glad to have you here. It's a pleasure to be here. How, how's everything going? Was this, are you still in the MWC zone? I'm still in the zone, yes. Uh, <laughs> still keeping up on my caffeine intake. So uh, <laughs> going to make it through to the end of the line. Um, but Perfect. really been looking forward. This is going to be the highlight of uh, my mobile world experience. Oh, I love that. <laughs> and maybe this is why, because we introduced Marcus already to the fastest coffee maker in the world, running on the Core i7 outside of our booth. That's, right. That's the music, the Bossa Nova sound that you can hear in the background again. So People are queuing up to get their uh, their coffee. Let's not talk about coffees. Let's talk about about, uh, about teas and, and and chocolates. We need to talk about Motorola and um, what you guys are doing. I mean, when you started to show the Moto X, that's about what, eighteen months ago. Yes, yeah, roughly around yes. eighteen months ago. Um, I think the whole world was going, the whole smartphone world was going, oh, mm. wow, this is coming from Motorola right now. Mm. Um, that was the first time I got really excited about a Motorola since the Droid. I love the Droid, right? And um, now you were the first ones to introduce a smartphone together with a back end, which was the Moto Maker. Yeah where I can customize and personalize my smartphone. And uh, that, that, that Never was... Never mind. Let's just talk about the motor... That was a Razor. That was my favorite Motorola phone. When it came in red for cancer. Or right, right. Yeah, yeah. That I was... a lot of colors as well. A lot of... But, but, that, but that was the first time I could have a red smartphone. Right. And it wasn't pink, which I loved. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. We did have pink, though. <laughs> yeah, I know. But still, red, like... Right. And it was so long ago that that, that level of custom customization and personalization was actually available. Exactly. So, yeah. I mean, it's really been something that uh, Motorola has always believed in. You know, we're speaking to consumers all the time. And they really do value being able to make their, their smartphone or back then their, their feature phone their own. So um, we've continued to do that research and we really wanted to up the game in mm -hmm. terms of uh, being able to offer um, lots of different natural textures uh, to the phone as well. So the example you've got here is um, a wood back, genuine wood. We also do leather backs in lots of different colours as well. And then of course uh, many different colours in terms of the resin. You then have your highlights um, around the Motorola logo, also on the front of the phone. And then something that's really nice is you can have a personal engraving on the back that's uh, either your name or something, uh, a special phrase for yourself. If you like, I've got Paranoid Android being a bit of a Radiohead fan. <laughs> so, uh, so I have that. And even when you boot up the phone, it says, welcome Marcus in, in my, my example. So we find that consumers are really enjoying that. And uh, so that's something that's really important to Motorola. And we're bringing you know, the Motormaker experience, not only in the US, as you referenced, but now to parts of Europe and beyond as well. That's really amazing because right now, all smartphones are really starting to look the same, right? From the front, it's glass, right? Maybe the round edges, maybe they're a little more boxy, but you know, it's, it's not that easy to tell your phone apart. And one of the trends that we've noticed in this show is that the back is kind of like the new front. That's, right. <laughs> yeah. That's a really good point, yeah. Yeah, and, but the thing is, you guys have been doing that already for the past year. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, so we hopefully start a nice trend there. The other thing that we find that um, consumers really value is they know uh, when we look at the software as well. So Motorola, we work on a very pure version of Android. That means we can do updates very quickly. We're the first to KitKat, first to Lollipop as well. Um, and then we add on some very light touch experiences that really then enhance Android. Um, one example you can see working on, on the X here, Moto X, uh, which is um, the active display. We know that consumers, one of the things they do most regularly um, is just find out the time from their mobile device. Mm -hmm. So rather than turning the on switch and powering up all of the CPU, um, we have very low energy processors also built into Moto X that then tell the time, then also subtly let you know what kind of messages and activities coming in. I think you saw some uh, emails and social posts coming in on the front of there. But then the most exciting thing of this is Moto X is clearly our flagship, 
But what we're able to do once we've proven this technology and we know consumers are loving this and embracing it is then move it through the Motorola portfolio. So last week we announced the new Moto E, uh, the baby of the Motorola family. And that now has aspects like the um, active display available on the baby of our, of our um, family. So we're uh, able to move that down so even more consumers can enjoy it. Talking about the new Motor E, um, so I, I, actually, I actually really like it, what, what you did. Um, having like a high-end flagship device with the Moto X, but also some amazing entry-level devices. And what you did with the Moto G and with the Moto E was just... Um, it had a huge impact on the overall industry, right. Right? because right now I can actually get a very, very affordable device. I mean, we're talking about, how much is it, the Moto E right now? Moto E um, in the UK, it's 109 pounds. Um, in Germany, 129 euros. Wow. And SIM free, yeah. And, and, and once again, you're getting, you're getting a, a vanilla experience of Android. That means that is the most, the, 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 the cleanest Android um, that I know besides what, what you're getting on a, on a, on a Nexus uh, handset. And you're getting a very, very solid um, build quality and a design that is also, by the way, this is also, this is also SOS, very, Maya. very customizable. Someone's oh, getting a phone call. call, call coming in. <laughs> this was, Real of course, device. planned. Yes. Because we also <laughs> wanted to show Make you how it's connected to the Moto 360. <laughs> yes. And, of course, he got his the, the, the first alarm <laughs> and notification uh, on the 360. And you know what? That's a perfect transition over to this. Yes, we're going to talk about this Moto E again. Good. But uh, what you also did with the Moto uh, 360... Once again, you've had a huge impact on a brand new market. That was a smartwatch market, and you were the first ones to introduce yeah, sure. um, to introduce around smartwatch yep. that look be absolutely beautiful. Mm. Look at this here. So um, uh, the whole concept behind Moto 360, when we had a look at the wearable space, uh, we thought it was fairly poorly served. Um, having a look at some of the wearables of the past, uh, there were big lumps of technology, like almost mini smartphones, very square on the wrist. And that appeals to some consumers, but, but not the masses. Um, so in the research we had, people said that what we want to wear on our wrist is something that looks beautiful first. Mm -hmm. So it was really the whole design concept behind Moto360, build something that uh, was a beautiful timepiece first, and of course we made it round, uh, which helps as well, using the very best metals, very tough glass, and then uh, natural leathers, and now you can get metal bracelets as well with the device. And, um, and it's going really well, obviously working on um, Google Wear, uh, it, we've, we're having a lot of success, and of course, at Mobile World, uh, we've managed to pick up an award for it. So uh, we're really pleased with that too. But that was just the perfect user scenario that you just had. You know, nothing is more annoying. You're sitting in a meeting, yeah, and someone is getting a phone call. You see them, how oh, they just kind of trying to get the phone out of their pocket, and then they try to kind of hide it underneath a table and look at it like this, right? On my smartwatch, on the Moto 360, I get this little vibration, just taking a look on my wrist, right? And I said, okay, you know, I'm sorry. I can't, I can't take this call right now. And there you go. You, that, that was a proof of concept. So I'm glad that, you, <laughs> that your friend it's from the UK just this, called yeah. you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was good news. Great. Did you want to go back to... Absolutely. Mobile? Absolutely. Let's talk. One of the things I was going to highlight, uh, I mean, um, you guys are pretty blown away by the customization that's available on Moto X. Mm -hmm. Um, customization, Motomaker has already come to now Moto360, um, so you are able to uh, personalize the type of bracelets that you have, the type of bezels, so we have that available. On the baby of our family, you can still personalize the device yourself. You can okay. see the colorful band mm -hmm. that we have around there. We have lots of different colors. So again, consumers, when, when they buy their favorite color, they might want a different one at the weekend. So you can just snap that off and then put on a different color to suit your mood or whatever you might be wearing. So customization throughout, and of course, Moto G, the one, the product that I haven't got here, um, has um, a snap-on, what we call a shell. The whole back comes off. And again, you have uh, grip cases, different types of shells and protectors as well. So again, you can really customize the portfolio, whether it's on our wearables or across the Motorola portfolio range of devices. Very nice. And I, I noticed this still has that kind of um, Motorola, the dimple. Is that the dimple? Or is, is, there, is there an official name for that? I don't think there is an official There's name. There's no official but, uh, name yes. for that. <laughs> <laughs> nice reference point for when you're holding the device. Even better for gripping it. 
this is very iconic. What I love about how the, how you evolve the design is just also you know how you flatten this a little bit here on the top. It 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 just this looks it 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 looks very stylish and very expensive. And I love to feel the materials of it. And um, what Nicole said about the back is the new front. Yes. I think it's very very important. Like if you just a good comparison would be like in the 70s and the late 70s car manufacturers started to reshape the keys for the cars yes. so try to get the brand logo somewhere in there because you know what happened whenever people met and they arrived the first thing they did putting the keys of the cars on the table uh, kind of positioning themselves identifying themselves with the brand now it's all about the smartphones. The first thing we do is we're putting our smartphones on the table, and then you can see, especially when it's a new one, the first thing is going to, will they notice it? Will they notice it? Right? <laughs> uh, I mean, th this is this huge part of uh, part of the branding, and to see what what you guys did, going all premium, ha having the options to have this premium materials. And very, very natural materials. Nothing is more natural than wood. Yes. And you've been the first ones to do that. The first premium OOM that goes into mass production mm -hmm. with this. And I think that's absolutely amazing. Whenever you see a Motor X, people want to touch it. Yeah. And, and just, just to finish off that point in terms of uh, the, the back almost being the, the new front, um, as well as adding all the customization, one thing that very deliberately happened with the um, latest generation of Moto X is aligning. So the symmetry is yeah. all aligned up. So uh, even with the uh, headphone jack at the top, it's central and it's then it runs true. all the way down. Yes. Yes. So uh, and even, even the micro charging, USB. Yes. Oh wow! I, I, you all know throughout. what? We need to get this on the on the camera. <laughs> this is a really interesting design aspect. Let, 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 let's start over here. Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Here we go. Now, now look at the headset jack, and now here we go. So now we have the camera, the Moto logo, and then the micro USB port. Here we go. So you have one straight line going all the way through on the back. I like it, and I love the metal frame. Great. Yeah, it, 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 it great just embraces the, the phone, right? yes. and it, once again, I immediately think of, oh my God, this is a premium product. This is something you know that not everyone else has. Right. When you, especially when you, we have so many glass phones out there, so many plastic phones out there, and in this category of phones that cost six, seven, eight hundred dollars. Yes. So I really like that. Now, and my my affinity towards having a wood phone. Well, so far I have yet to own one, but okay. I have Love the remedy that. <laughs> <laughs> but it's um, it's more about how smartphones are so integral with our lives, right? And we're constantly connected. We're constantly attached. And sometimes this digital addiction becomes a little overwhelming, right? It's, it's especially in the, in the industry that we're in, yes. it's it's sometimes you're like, I wish I could disconnect, or you know, but. It's more that when I have this thing that is so technical and so digital and so connected to something so virtual that it brings me back to like a very natural human place. Yes. And the, that's the thing that I've always really liked about the, like the, wooden, the wooden cell phones and having the access to having the exact kind of wood you want, it, just, it blew me away. That's Absolutely, great. and it's it's good um, picking up on you know your your use of technical as well because uh, smartphones and wearables can become very technologically advanced and therefore sometimes confusing, and that's the again fundamental belief within Motorola to really keep things nice and simple, really listen to what consumers want, the pain points they have and solve those. So another example that we've uh, built onto Moto X and, and now cascading it through the portfolio as well is um, little improvements. So we, we know if, if you um, use an example of trying to take a picture on other smartphones, uh, you'd have to power up, of course, to begin with, uh, get rid of uh, all the notifications and you end up going back into the application right. you're in try and get back to the home page, get into your, your camera, 
And then you've, you've missed your shot already. So with um, Moto X, as you know, you just do a little shake. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then the whole thing powers up. Yeah. And uh, you can then even finish the shot with your Moto 360. Oh, if you yeah, want that's to. true. So you then uh, can enable that too. So it's those little touches where uh, we save time because people said, I'm missing my favorite shot. I'm missing the kids, you know, doing their first walk. You are able to do that now with a quick shake of the wrist, and then you can take your picture very quickly by clicking anywhere on the screen to do that. Yeah, that's that's pretty cool. And you also have this um, this feature. It, it should be still on the on, on the second generation, right? That I can just talk to it right away, and it will wake up. Yes, absolutely. I like this. This is this is like I call it ambient computing. Ambient. Ambient. Okay, that's that's a new one. Very good term. Yeah, you know what? I I was just thinking of we we still have to talk about the headset where I would say, you know what, this is goes into the world of hearables, right? Um, but what, what I mean with ambient computing is basically that I don't need to wake up a device. The device is waiting for me. I just give, you know, one keyword, and it's there, and it's around me, and I can just control it somehow, somehow with my voice, and it gets back at me. And you've been the first one with the first generation of Moto X to do that. Yeah, so uh, I bet you, uh, while well, you've been at Mobile World Congress, you've probably had long days, yeah, fairly long nights knowing you. And then you get back, <laughs> you get back to your hotel, go to bed, turn off the lights, and then you think, oh, I haven't set my alarm. And that, yeah. that's, that's been the beauty of this yeah. uh, during yeah. the week, because you, you then don't even have to turn on the lights or, or even find the phone. Right. You just use your trigger phrase, and uh, mine is, I fancy a cuppa. <laughs> and then you can just say, set alarm for 6 a.m., sending alarm. And it's just done it. <laughs> it's, just, it's, just, it's just done it, it while it, we've been it doing just, it. It just happened. <laughs> Once again, yeah, this, yeah. Is, this is pretty much the best demonstration of features that we've ever seen, right? Arranging that someone is calling him while he's on a live stream. <laughs> yeah. And now we're just showing us, you know, with the keyword and everything, and he just set an alarm. Yeah. It's just Letting us know it's done. Yeah, but this is live. This is not recorded. I tell you that. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to show the, the real time on the on the clock, and then, then you really uh, it's, it's open up all kinds of applications there. But again, uh, it, it does go go to prove that uh, the the always on voice that we use isn't yeah. just a gimmick. It has real practical experiences, and now you know it's really quite advanced. We use many different sensors within Moto X. Yeah. Um, always listening for that that trigger phrase. With the first generation of Moto X, you had to use only one phrase, but Motorola standing for choice, the power to choose. Uh, for the second generation, you can use any trigger phrase you want. And uh, that then wakes up the phone, and then you can give it uh, any command, even if you want to find out what the age of the queen is. It will then tell you, <laughs> tell you that. And of course, that there's also um, safety implications as well when you're driving. Uh, if you want to listen to the text, you can ask for that. So uh, there's, there's many different uh, useful applications for that always on voice. Yeah, Marcus, what's also very exciting to me is what happened last year. Um, Basically, you are now also the third biggest smartphone manufacturer in the world because you teamed up with Lenovo. As part of Lenovo, yes, that's yeah. absolutely right. Yes. And uh, especially with a company um, that in the last eight or nine years, I would never ever forget the day uh, when they um, acquired uh, the PC division from IBM and people were saying, oh my God, what's going to happen to the ThinkPad brand, right? Yeah. And what did they do? They evolved it, right? They, they made an amazing brand out of this. They took over the, uh, the notebook and PC world, the number one manufacturer in, in this industry. Now they are on the edge of just becoming the number two in the smartphone world. Right now they are solid number three, and uh, but they're still evolving, still developing. And you're part of this family right now. This, of course, gives Motorola a lot more resources. Yeah, that, that's right. So um, it's, it's still fairly new days, uh, but it, it's been a great adventure. It came at the perfect time, really, for Motorola. A lot of momentum that we created in 2014 um, with the range of products we've just mentioned. Um, and then with the scale and uh, the innovation that uh, Lenovo brings us, uh, it has really able to catapult us to, to the next level. So there's a lot of efficiencies in supply chain, for example, that we're able to make. But um, they also did buy Motorola for the wonderful products and the brand itself. So the Motorola brand absolutely remains. And uh, you can see that alive on the Motorola, uh, sorry, on the Lenovo booth uh, today. Um, both of us there on the booth uh, with our, both of our portfolios very much standing for different things uh, so that consumers can really embrace that. There's a plenty of room in the world for 
uh, Lenovo and Motorola to make a real impact and both absolutely committed to consumers and then building solutions that are really going to propel them in the future. And I'm glad that yeah. the brand is going on, mm -hmm. right? And uh, when we were talking about this during IFA, um, the Lenovo guys were also saying, you know, we are very committed to this, right? Yes. We, we, we want to make sure... We are talking about a very, very iconic brand here and a brand image, and I'm glad that you guys could get, just get along like this and that they have you know, different for, um, also different products, right? And, but both of these companies that are coming together right now are getting the benefit and advantage of all this experience that each and every part of the company has. And, and also that Motorola and Lenovo are both design-centered in their in their thought process and evolving evolving the technology and the different brands. I mean, you see it with Lenovo, like right through like their their their, their yoga lineup with the tablets and the and the laptop. And I'm also a, a yoga user right, <laughs> and okay. a ThinkPad user in the past. And and I've had several Lenovo smartphones as well. So I mean, I know how much like, design is so important to Lenovo and what Motorola is clearly doing with their lineup is is incredibly design forward. So I, th I think that marriage is actually very exciting. It is. It, it does hold a, a lot of potential and um, I myself, uh, I was lucky enough to be uh, using a, a yoga tablet myself and uh, the one with the projector built Whoa. into the hinge and uh, I brought it home and I didn't get to see it again. The, ki the kids <laughs> quickly stole it, they're watching all kinds of YouTube videos etc. It. So it's, it's a really powerful projector. You and, know, uh, I'm, I'm still using the, the, the first generation and I'm still perfectly happy with it. Brilliant. You know what I mean? Like. I, I, I could upgrade, but it's still fast enough. The battery life is still amazing. I'm still perfectly happy with it. It's a, gr a great a great device with excellent build quality. So I mean, yeah, it's it's really exciting that you guys are kind of teaming up with this with with this company that has like a, a lot of potential. I think for a, like a lot of integration, and I'm really excited to see what's going to happen next. That's right. Yeah. Well, you can have any, me back next time, and I'll explain a bit more. Any <laughs> hints? Any hints? No, yes, there is a hint. Yes. Oh, <laughs> no toe hint. Thank, thanks for that. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> so the one other product. like we wrote a script yes. for the whole thing. <laughs> The one other product that uh, we, we have, um, again, on the Lenovo booth, uh, the Moto section of that is, is the Moto Hint. So a wonderful little Bluetooth um, wearable. You just uh, sl slot it in your ear. I'll, I'll just do it very briefly there. Okay. And it just fits in like that. And it's already, it's already making a noise in my ear, so uh, it's telling me that it's awake. It knows it's gone in there. I didn't need to switch it on. As soon as I pull it back out again, then it switches it off. There's a three hours of talk time on that, and then in the little box that it sits in, um, together, there's 10 hours of talk time within there. So there's actually, actually a battery away. in there, and it's recharging uh, right away. That's right, and a great protector too. So uh, yeah. there, there, there's the hint for the future, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. No, definitely, and, and as well, we had we had some ears on time with that when we when we visited uh, your offices ears in California. Time. Ears on time, yeah, but uh, it's, it fits very comfortably and actually fits into my ear as well. And the the audio qualities are really nice, and I, I thought it was a really well designed product, especially because you don't see this kind of like it's 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 why it's charging wirelessly, but it's it it, it is right. But you have to charge the case, and it's just so different, yes, right? Like right. it's just so different the way this has come together. I haven't seen any other ear like headsets that look like. And this. once again, it comes in all kinds of colors, yes. with m different materials. The cloth is changing that's, around that's it. Great. Yeah. Yes, exactly. So again, there's personalization available there. So even more choice available to consumers. So uh, now I found that um, you know really really quite revolutionary in terms of the way that I, I now use it. I, I had got used to having wired headsets in and wires all around myself. Yeah, yeah. And then this this really works tremendously well. So yeah. uh, and again, when you're using it with a, a Moto X, all that uh, always on voice technology is working again. So you can just speak even though your, your phone's in your pocket, yeah. give it commands and uh, yeah. receive the input straight into your ear. Yeah. Pretty cool. So. Um, What's left here? I mean, we love the devices. <laughs> we told everyone already the, about the amazing features. We've been showing everything. Here is one thing. We just can't get this. Why? Because we're in Taiwan. You can't ship to Taiwan. So, Marcus, you need to make sure that you, that you guys are customizing us one and that you're going <laughs> to that, 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 that ship, us, ship us one over. Because, I mean, I've, I've, I've had like two or three hours with it. Um, um, during um, 
during IFA uh, in Berlin, yes. right? I could also uh, uh, had lots of time. You had an, you had an amazing pre-briefing with it, uh, at a great environment that was just perfectly arranged. And um, I really love the device, but I would love to uh, try uh, one on a daily basis. Plus, I would love to see those guys. You know how they're going to react when you're just putting a, a this wooden back on a table and with like like a perfectly matching colors on the side on a metal frame. So this is, I mean. I like it when companies are coming out with products that are immediately just giving me, you know, this need to touch them, the, the, the need to, to hold it in my hand to see, you know, what is this? Yes. Because I'm excited about this. And this is what you delivered. This tells me a lot about how Motorola changed. And I think you, you've had this already in the past, like you said, with the Razer. Mm -hmm. I've had it with the Droid. Mm -hmm. And now you're back and kicking it with the Moto X coming out with something like the Hint and the Moto 360, yeah. which, which were first in the industry. And um, you, you changed the world of entry-level Android smartphones with the vanilla experience. Actually, you've delivered the Android One before the Android One came to the market, what mm -hmm. Google was doing to the emerging markets. Now, you introduced um, um, high-quality devices at an entry-level price. Um, I, can, I can only tell you that uh, the last 18 months, uh, from my perspective, with Motorola was absolutely exciting and amazing. And I can't wait to see what you have on your roadmap for the rest of the year. Well, Nicole already tried everything to squeeze it out of you. I know you can't tell anything, <laughs> um, but we're really, really looking forward yes. to this. That's the only hint, yes, uh, I'm afraid. Due to the fact that the Nova is always also a sponsor of our EFA Tech Lounge studio, Marcus, you can already mark this in your calendar. It's starting, I think, at the end of August. It's a little bit earlier this year. Okay. And um, hopefully, you have some new amazing products with you then. Let's hope. Let's yeah. hope. Oh. I'm, I, I'm, I'm, pretty con hope. I'm pretty confident. <laughs> okay, Marcus, good. thank you so much for your time. Enjoy the last two hours of Mobile World Congress. You know, we, we almost made it. Really <laughs> and I hope you make your flight. I know we've kept you on trying to squeeze all the information out of you. <laughs> thank you. No, it's a pleasure to be here. Absolutely. Well, thank, thank you, you so much. We have a break of about like five minutes and then um, we will be back with We're our talk. talk networks. We're going to talk networks uh, with Reno Navarre. Um, she's a, a senior strategy manager of Intel. We have another 30 minutes before we go into our final podcast with the Pocket Now guys, with the Android Authority guys. And we're going to have our huge um, IFA wrap-up. Maybe we're even getting some drinks oh, in here. MWC wrap-up. It's not, wrap up. not IFA yet. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> You're already in August. <laughs> MWC wrap-up. We, we are not predicting flying. the future, I promise. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be our MWC uh, uh, wrap-up and our IFA outlook. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now we still have Seaway to go and Computex and all of these <laughs> other amazing <laughs> conferences. So I see you guys in a couple of minutes. <laughs> 